Hi, this is Cynthia Macris. So today I'd like to talk to you about uh, what to do when life throws you a curveball and your emotional state is not the best. You'd kind of like to go cry someplace or, you know, crawl in a hole and die. But guess what? You have a performance that day. So we are all alive on this planet and things happen. I got some not fabulous news today and I really did feel like just kind of crawling in a hole and, you know, crying. And I have students coming and that's important to me, so I'm warming up my voice today. And of course I noticed that the energy in my voice is totally different today than it was yesterday because there's kind of this... Oh, giving up feeling that stretched up to my vocal cords. Thank you so much. But I do know from experience, long years of singing, that when things happen, your vocal technique is what's going to save you from everything. Your voice is something you can always count on. And if you've gone the paths of your vocal technique over and over and over and over and over, um, even on a bad day, when your body is, you know, sympathizing with your feelings and everything else in life and just doesn't really want to do it, if you've repeated those pathways enough times so that they're trusted, you just have to urge your body a little bit, urge your voice a little bit, and let it go back to the place where it feels safe, where it knows what to do, and sing like a goddess or a god no matter what's going on in your life so take care of your voice and most of all be sure you have a technique that works for you because it will be your very 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 best friend